Hey, hey, what is up, everyone? The LDB is back at it again. Sorry it's been a little while since I've posted anything, but uh, with all of these huge changes going on all of a sudden, now we've got some things to talk about again. Uh, so what a time to be back. I've got a lot of great ideas for 1.8.3. So as always, if you enjoy these videos or find them helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for future content, and uh, let's get into uh, today's builds. All right, everyone. So here we go. I got two builds for you here today. Um, depending on your play style, um, you know how aggressive you are as a player. I have a seven and six build here for you, as well as a nine K. So maybe that'll help you kind of figure out how you might want to, you know, have your build for 1.8.3 if you are going to continue to run striker. Uh, but both of these work pretty good. Um, you know, it's obviously not like it used to be. Anything like it, you got to work for it. But if you do, and if you do work for it, it'll pay off sometimes. I mean, it does. It, it's not completely dead. Um, I wouldn't say that. But either way, let's get into those skills and talents, and then we'll get into the builds themselves. Get these out of the way here. Uh, I'm going to be using a booster shot mainly because it temporarily increases damage. You're dealing with a lot of people now that have, um, you know, Alpha Bridge, Banshee, even the Nomad. It's all burst damage. It's all just firepower up front. And this will help you have that before you start getting your stacks. Pop this before you get into a fight, and it will at least give you a little bit of an edge. It's not going to be a save-all or anything like that by any means, but it'll help out a little bit, and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, you get some stacks or, you know, do some damage. Um, other than that, I would say, you know, try a turret, a shock turret, make them stand still for a second, and, um, you know, do some damage, get your stacks up a little bit, you know, whatever you can. And, uh, you know, that might help out a little bit, but teach their own. Uh, I'm going to be using a support station for a couple reasons. One, it does still heal you okay. It's not as strong as it was before by any means, but I think that's the point because they didn't want it to be stronger than your actual first aid. Um, and, and obviously this was a lot stronger than, you know, the booster shot, the overdose, whatever. So um, this now I think they're trying to make you use it a little bit more strategically. So just put it down before you get into a fight. And if you can let it sit for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and then pop it, you will get a decent heal from it. It's not fantastic, it's not like what it was, but it's something. At least it's a secondary heal other than your booster shot or your med kit that might be on cooldown, something like that. And as well, number 2, it will also uh, cleanse status effect. You know, you got the Preds out there, and I see... Firecrest making a big comeback. I've been seeing a lot of fire bullets and flame turrets going on, so this is something you might want to hang on to regardless. Um, but moving on, uh, running solo, got the recovery link going, pretty straightforward. Uh, the talents that I got going, pretty straightforward as well. I got adrenaline, medkit gives you 7 seconds of immunity from status effects, so pretty much going along with the same thing uh, as the immunizer. Um, you know, you got to bleed on, hit your medkit, you know, whatever, and... Uh, now they can't bleed you for seven seconds. So it works out pretty good. Um, crit save, uh, critical save here using a med kit during low health, increased damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Striker didn't really need a um, a lot of damage resistance up. Uh, you know, it had its own more or less before. Now it definitely needs it. So I would definitely go with that. Um, I'm going to be using strike back as well. Uh, reach low health to receive uh, uh, reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. So that way, you know, you get to that low health and you got to hit that, you know, that heal. Eh, this will help help you get there a little bit quicker. You know what I mean? In a pinch, it works out. Uh, and I also have on the move, kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage 15% for 10 seconds. Uh, again, any way you can get any kind of damage reduction is a good thing for striker now. Uh, now, as you can see, the primary firepower, oh, it just flopped. It was 515,000 with the card counter flop, so that's pretty good for uh, burst damage. I mean, that's that's you're still doing all right um, as far as burst damage goes uh, with that card counter flopped. And I have two houses here, mainly just because I have the SMG gloves, and if you put an assault rifle on with SMG gloves, especially now, it's not doing much for you. Uh, but either way... Um, the house that I'm using here uh, with the card counter flap there, 25.3k per bullet. So we're not doing you know too bad there. We got Vicious, Deadly, and Card Counter. For my secondary, I have Deadly Unforgiving. So Unforgiving is for the you know the last two segments of your life, and Vicious is for the first. So you know you you run up with the Vicious Deadly, 
you know, you dump the whole mag on them, and then without, you know, don't reload, just swap over to your secondary. You'll probably be missing a health segment or two, possibly, and that's when Unforgiving kicks in, and, uh, you know, really in a pinch, especially when it's like, you know, you both have a sliver of life left. That Unforgiving, you know, being that last segment of health, 25% damage up, that really does, uh, you know, that does a lot. That's a big difference there, so... Um, just keep your eye on that. I mean, you could always go responsive, whatever. Uh, but that's just what I'm doing, and these two have kind of worked out pretty good with the way they complement each other, you know, different uh, different amounts of health segments that you may have. Um, so other than that, going on to Striker, I should actually go over what the whole set does, but I don't really, I'm dep I don't even want, it's depressing to read all the stuff. Just know that, in a nutshell, PV PVE you're totally fine. You go to resistance and anything, this is going to work like it normally did, you know, prior to 1.8.3. You go into the dark zone, last stand, or skirmish, and uh, things change up a whole lot. Um, so right now, one bullet equals one stack, or one percent. Uh, it drops two percent per second. EMP pauses the stacks, uh, which means that you cannot build your stacks more, and the stacks that you have are not going to work in your benefit. They're not going to be giving you the damage up. They're not going to be healing you. Uh, missing shots drop two, so uh, they're making it tough. And then shotguns uh, deal a max of eight per shot, eight stacks per shot instead of 16 like it used to be. So in a nutshell, that's basically what Striker's doing now. Uh, so... I mean, if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, it it doesn't sound like much, but when you try it, it it's kind of it's kind of hard. I don't know. Uh, it's rough. Um, but either way, let's look at these gear set pieces. Then we'll go to the character sheet because that's where all this starts to make sense. At I have the uh, chest piece here rolled for stamina with enemy armor damage, health, and ammo capacity. I left the enemy armor damage on there uh, because, uh, well you get enemy armor damage from the gear set itself. Now, especially stacking this with an assault rifle build, which that's a whole nother video, but um, this will definitely help you out a lot. Um, and even with the SMGs, this will this will give you a little bit of an upper hand. Any way you can you know, mitigate any of their armor or anything like that, just get through and start doing damage to them, that's what you gotta do. Uh, I have two stamina with crit hit chance mods on there. Um, we have the mask here that is rolled for stamina with crit hit chance burn resistance and it has a firearms with crit hit chance mod on there. Uh, we have the knee pads here that are rolled for firearms, 9% crit damage, got shock, burn, and bleed on here so we got pretty lucky on these covered the main bases all on one piece and this has a uh, Firearms with crit chance mod as well as a 6% first aid self heal. Got to get that first aid self heal up. Got to be able to heal yourself. Um, we got the uh, uh, holster here. That's 1401s across the board, obviously. We got uh, the 4% crit chance there. And then we have a 6% first aid self heal on that. The gloves, pretty straightforward. Rolled for firearms, SMG damage with crit chance and damage on there. And the backpack, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We got it rolled for firearms. We have stability and ammo capacity on there. Um, now, stability, again, I put that on there because the build already comes with a lot of stability. And once I show you the character sheet, it'll probably make a little bit more sense. But this basically turns you into a laser beam. I play with very high sensitivity, and having all the stability definitely helps you land more shots, which means you build more stacks, right? So keep this in the back of your head. I know I'm losing that 9% crit damage or, you know, it could be health or whatever you want to put on there. Um, but uh, that stability, definitely try it out for your striker build. I, I'm telling you, um, it'll it'll help you out a lot. It, that'll definitely help you out a lot. And this has, let's see, um, uh, stamina with crit chance mod on there and two 6% first aid self heal as well. So, I mean, that's about that build right there. Let's go over to the character sheet and uh, and see what we got going here. We got the weapon damage is at 25,000 per bullet. We got a 60% uh, crit hit chance with 121 damage. Again, I would be plus 9, right, if I had it on my backpack, but I don't. Um, 
but it is what it is. Uh, you know, I got some headshot damage, accuracy. The stability is what really makes it, though. 49% stability. 49. Almost a half. 50% stability. Just, it, it makes it so much easier, and you are... You can land so many more shots easier. It, it's it's crazy. Just definitely give that a try if you haven't already. It's definitely worth it. We got the uh, all weapon damage bonus up 20%, which is that card counter. Uh, we got the 12% SMG damage up uh, from the gloves there. Enemy armor damage is up to 21%. The closer you can get to 33.5% uh, is the the better. I mean, the closer you can get to that, the better because that's the max. Uh, mitigation right so if you can get to that or above it, it basically ignores the armor so basically you know someone that has you know maxed out um, armor on their uh, you know are their gear 21% of it gets ignored so don't overlook that that's something especially for assault rifle builds again that's another video but just saying don't overlook it that's something pretty good to have um, the toughness and the, the health is not the best but again, you see the armor, 33.5. The higher you can get to that on your build, you know, it, and it just goes right through it. But this one's pretty high, you know, that's it, pretty good there. Uh, not too bad. We got the bleed, we got a lot of burn, and we got some shock resistance going on. So we got our bases covered there for the most part, and, uh, you know, that's about that. So let's, uh, let's move on to the 9K build, and we'll give that one a look. <laughs> Oops, just kidding. I wanted to show you when the card counter is flopped up like it is now, and then I hit the heel here. Let's take a look at the character sheet. 574 uh, firepower and, uh, let's see, 28,000 per bullet damage. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. With all that crit chance and, you know, everything going on, it's, it's working. This is about as good as you're going to get, I think. But uh, either way, it's working out pretty nice. Now we're on to the 9K build. And here it is, the 9K striker build. Uh, you can see 419,000 firepower, not too bad for a 9K build. And again, weapons and talents, everything are the same. Um, the only thing I had to change, I believe, was the uh, knee pads and the backpack. Knee pads here, I have crit damage on there, bleed disorient, and burn resistance. Um, so I needed some with uh, stamina on it. And this has, let's see, a stamina with crit chance mod with 6% first aid self heal. And the backpack that I have on this um, is rolled for stamina with crit damage and ammo capacity. And it has a stamina with health mod on there. It's not the, I mean, it's not the best. It's a 265, so it's two away from being god roll. But the health that it's actually giving me is pretty low, but it is what it is. I'm, the reason I'm pointing it out is because I have a slot. I'm already at max crit chance, so I have a slot to put some health on there. Not too bad. Um, and we got two more 6% first aid self heals. So let's take a look at what that looks like on the character sheet. We got 20,000 per bullet. We're 60% crit chance, 131 damage. So when we are hitting, we're we're hitting pretty good. It's not terrible. Uh, we got headshot damage, so on and so forth. We, we got that stability from the build uh, itself, uh, the gear set itself, as well as, you know, the mod, a couple mods here or there, whatever. All weapon damage up. Um, we got the 12% SMG damage from the gloves. Uh, we still got 21% enemy armor damage. Um, but the toughness in the max health obviously has gone up a lot. And the health regeneration... The difference between a 6,000 and a 9,000 stamina build is 5,000 points of health regeneration. The first one was 15,000, 15,500. This was 20,000. So it's not a, a very big difference at all. And as far as it says, you know, the health reduction is is actually going down when you're in the dark zone or anything like that. So it's just, it's rough. Um, either way, we got the bleed resistance. We got a lot of burn, we got some disorient, and we don't have the shock. We're missing the shock, but that's the story of my life. Whatever. It is what it is. Overall, though, it's a pretty solid build. You do get uh, some pretty good firepower out of it. And, uh, again, just swapping weapons, you know, for that unforgiving, you know, after the first mag is burnt up from your primary, that, that's definitely a good thing to do. So, 
Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, found it helpful somewhat at all. Uh, and, and, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying here with this striker. It's, uh, it's a tough one. But uh, I definitely got some other ideas in mind. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe for future content. That really does help out the channel a lot. And uh, drop a comment down there. Let me know what you're thinking about striker. Let me know how mad you are. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, just put your thoughts down there and uh i mean i'm probably gonna agree with the most of them but uh don't go too crazy on it okay guys but yeah until then uh until next time hope you guys take it easy i will see you then later <laughs>